Mary Jo Fernandez. I was a former professional tennis player. The highlight by far was competing in two Olympics. Icing on the cake was winning the medals. I was very fortunate to transition after I retired at 28 into commentating. I felt very blessed to have got married to the best person and have two great children. And then the shock comes and it's hard. The nurse called, there's like, hi, your results are in. You have two tumors that are breast cancer. I was just like, what? So literally, my heart stopped. At the time, it was just like, I thought I was gonna die. I remember right away hugging her and saying, look, everything's gonna be okay. We're gonna figure everything out. You're gonna get the best care. My dad was a superstar, my mom, was the strongest woman I know, and we tackled it as a family head on. He said, Mary Jo has breast cancer. And then after the initial shock, I said to her, that's okay, guess what? I have the Roger Federer of breast cancer surgeons. Five minutes later, Dr. Port calls on Thanksgiving. She's like, Tony, I wanna see Mary Jo. I'd love for you to come to New York for a second opinion. That phone call was about making sure they knew that all they had to do was show up and we were gonna take it from there. We got to the Dubin Breast Center and Dr. Port really made you feel like, okay, I'm the general here. I've got my whole team here. We're gonna make you feel comfortable. She gave me so much confidence. I looked at Tony, I go, I don't need to go anywhere else. This is where I'm gonna be. I remember her saying specifically, no matter what comes our way, we're gonna handle it. And for the first time, I was like, okay, that gives me hope. I have some hope now. And Dr. Dubin was a godsend. I was able to help her because I had experienced something very similar, similar type of breast cancer, similar type of treatment, mothers of teenagers. So we just connected and has stayed friends since then. She literally gave me play by play of what was coming my way. And she would check in and and just reassure me, and it made a huge difference. I did my part to deliver the best surgery she could get, and then what we do is we sort of hand the baton to her medical oncologist, and of course we have the most cutting edge advanced care to give her the best chance. Mary Jo benefited from the oncotype test, which is a genomic profile of the tumor. And with that type of breast cancer, we're fortunate enough to be able to use anti-estrogen medication to completely safely avoid chemotherapy. My journey with the Dubin Breast Center has been one of compassion and caring and of confidence. That's one of the beautiful things about Mount Sinai and about the Dubin Breast Center is that it's not just for Mary Jo. It's what they do with all their patients. The Dubin Breast Center surprised me in how they just try to take care of the little things and the details and just try to make it as comforting and as soothing as possible. They really have mastered how to make a really difficult time in, in a woman's life to something that they can get through and have hope. Here she is five years later in perfect health and never missed a beat. The Dubin Center saved my mom's life and we are super lucky and thankful that they were there for her. I don't know if words can really describe how grateful our family is for it. And it provided hope and it instilled strength and we'll be forever grateful. And Mary Jo demonstrated the same grit, strength, and courage that she exemplified throughout her tennis career as she did during her battle against breast cancer. We honor our patients because of the courage that they show, and sometimes they are in a position where they can elevate the awareness of breast cancer. It's so inspirational, and you're gonna inspire so many other people. Mary Jo, congratulations on your honor this evening. Mary Jo, you are a portrait of strength and grace. We love you so much, we're so proud of you. I'm just proud of Mary Jo, proud of my friend. And now it's time for her to tell other people, hey, if you're going through this, you can get through, you can get to the other end, and you better do it at the Dubin Breast Center because really there's nowhere else in the world to do it.
early detection does save lives, and she's an incredible role model for that. I'm hoping that by sharing my story, others, even if it's one person, will make that choice to, to call the Dubin Breast Center. I think the Dubin Center should be celebrated every day, honestly. What they do on a daily basis is, is remarkable, it's incredible. They should be celebrated every day, not just once a year.